What's going on YouTube? Taylor Prentice back here with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the Balenciaga and Adidas collaboration. So they just put out the images for this collaboration. And as you guys could assume, it's pretty pricey just because it is Balenciaga. But with that being said, let's just go ahead and dive into these pieces. So uh, first off, we just have a green sweatshirt that says Balenciaga with the Adidas Trefoil logo. And yeah, this is really simple, but I like the fit of this. Balenciaga always has kind of interesting silhouettes as far as fit goes. It looks like the uh, like shoulder holes on this one are really big and they kind of cuff really tight. So I'm curious to see how these look on body, but I would love to be able to wear one of these pieces. It's just, I'm not gonna spend $1,500 on a hoodie and I'm not sure if these prices are definite or if they're just estimates. So keep that in mind throughout this video. But yeah, I could definitely see $1,450 being the actual price for this. And while I do think it's sick, definitely not something that i'll be adding to my wardrobe along with the rest of this collection but if you got big baller money this might be something for you i thought these were really funny so as you guys know the triple s's were huge a couple years ago and adidas just kind of put their spin on them they've got the adidas tray foil logo on the back heel tab and then they've got their traditional three stripes three stripes along the side of the sneakers i thought these were awesome uh not something that i like really like but just a cool idea and just funny to see executed and these are retailing for 1100 which i feel like uh is not too bad as far as the Balenciaga triple s's go which is crazy to say 1100 isn't that bad for a sneaker but i'm kind of surprised that they're not more expensive to be honest and next this is one of my favorite pieces from the collab we have a soccer jersey so obviously adidas is a well-known soccer brand all day I dream about soccer but I'm hoping to see some soccer players getting off some cool fits in this like Hector Bellerin or someone like that I think would look awesome in this and the crest here on the left chest just says Balenciaga in it so yeah I thought this was really sick I haven't I don't think I've seen the back of it yet so I'm not sure if it has like a jersey and maybe Balenciaga like across the back but even if it's just blank I think this is super sick and yeah I thought this was definitely one of the cooler pieces of the collab I thought it was cool that uh, Balenciaga went with uh, some of these like more sporty types of looks for this collaboration because it was with Adidas it makes sense to me it fits almost and then we've got socks uh, I'm not even gonna zoom in on those it's just a trefoil logo it says Balenciaga but 210 for socks is just incredible man I don't care who you are if you're paying 210 for socks man you should just be giving money away and if you need anyone to give it to let me know because if you're spending 210 on socks you just have too much money let's be honest uh, next we have another pair of the triple S's with the stripes down the side and the trefoil logo on the back still so pretty much same exact sneaker just a different colorway and I actually really like this blue I think it's uh, really appealing and will definitely pop with a lot of outfits with that being said it's a color that I feel like is almost too loud but I do I do like the color but it's not something that I would wear even if it was more of like a toned down silhouette that I actually really liked I'm not a big fan of the triple S's uh, just not really my style too big and clunky and uh, I've never actually worn a pair but I mean just feeling them they're like 25 pounds so it's like I don't want to be lugging those around all day and next we have a piece that I really like again we have a puffer puffy jacket it's not really a puffer jacket it is a little thicker though and I'm sure it's really really warm and it's got the trefoil logo with the Balenciaga under it and then it's got the like three stripes going down the uh, side and everything so yeah I thought this was really cool nothing too special to it um, I'm sure it's just a really nice jacket but yeah for three racks three and a half racks -wee, a little bit too too expensive for me yeah I thought this was just simple and clean and it is kind of lazy I feel like but at the same time I also do kind of like it so next we have a piece that I don't really like I feel like this just looks like your average adidas hoodie that you could get at like dick sporting goods or something um definitely nothing special about this in my opinion and yeah they're charging 11.50 for it and it says nike why does a brand say nike anyways i'm on supreme league's news i haven't mentioned that in this video but this is their website they obviously have an instagram too so if you guys want to go follow them there definitely check them out uh they post a lot of good news for upcoming drops and everything so you guys can be prepared for upcoming stuff whether it actually be supreme or if it's balenciaga they actually posted like the jumanji disney collaboration so they're the ones that helped me make a video on that so shout out to them but yeah they need to fix some of their uh, labeling down here it looks like and if the labeling is off like that i'm gonna assume these prices are estimates and that they're not the actual prices so yeah definitely gonna assume these are estimates but 
with my knowledge of Balenciaga's pricing, I would say these are probably pretty on par with what the actual drop is gonna be. And next, uh, I thought this was cool. This is something that I would never wear, but Balenciaga is kind of known for their denim jackets, I feel like at this point. So it's cool to see them put like an Adidas twist on one of their classic pieces. And I, I do think this is cool. I'm not a huge denim jacket wear. Like I've said in my last couple of videos, I really just prefer my outerwear to have hoods and stuff. So jackets like that aren't really my thing, but I could definitely see myself wearing this piece if I were able to get one for like, maybe like an eighth of the price. But anyways, yeah, I thought that one was really cool. Uh, I love Balenciaga's denim jackets. Eventually, like if I get like a bunch of money, I'll definitely just end up buying one because I really like the fits of them. A lot of times they're like kind of cropped and uh, yeah, I don't know, they're just interesting. I think they do a good job with uh, the denim jackets. And next we have some shorts and these are cool. Um, kind of kind of lazy i guess i don't know they didn't really do too much here as you guys can tell it's just the three stripes down the sides uh it's balenciaga with the trefoil logo again and i do prefer the trefoil logo over their like newer logo i think the trefoil one's just a lot cooler uh, maybe it's because the other one was like out for so long when i was a kid and that was just like what i grew up with so going back to like the older logo is just kind of cool because it's different and we haven't seen as many pieces like that but adidas has been kind of pushing that for like 10 years now i feel like but uh, yeah i really do enjoy the trey foil logo in comparison to their other logo but anyways these shorts um they're cool they're just nothing special in my opinion it does look like they have pockets so that's nice it's kind of hard to find soccer shorts with pockets and soccer shorts are my favorite style of shorts so i could definitely see myself wearing those but yeah too expensive and next we just have a long sleeve t-shirt and this again kind of similar to that sweatshirt i feel like is just a piece that you would expect to get from adidas and uh, it has their old logo and like i said i'm not too big of a fan of their old or well i guess it's their new logo but I'm not a big fan of this logo. I'm not sure what it's called, but the more like the three stripe logo, whatever. Yeah, I definitely don't think this is a bad piece. Um, I could see people wearing this and that looking good and getting like cool fits off with it for sure. Uh, just Balenciaga, man. If I'm gonna be paying that much for a t-shirt, I would like want it to be, I don't wanna say I want it to be more like noticeable that it's Balenciaga, but I would appreciate something with a more interesting silhouette or design aspect to it just because of the price range. And moving on, we have uh, Balenciaga Speed Trainers, which have the Adidas Trefoil logo on them and have the three stripes. I thought these were really cool. I thought the sneakers were kind of the highlight of this collaboration, other than the soccer jersey. But uh, yeah, it's just cool to see Balenciaga literally just like slap some Adidas stuff onto items that they already make. It's just funny. It's, it's almost like a parody account, like or somebody random making mock-ups for like a collaboration that they heard about and it's like they just went with them so i think this collaboration is kind of like a troll almost which is kind of what everything balenciaga does feels like a troll but i actually kind of like those um not that i would wear them i'm not big into like sock shoes like that but if i were to get a pair it would be the balenciaga speed trainers but if it came down to it i would prefer just the normal balenciaga ones over these adidas ones well i think it's funny i think it just looks like you're wearing adidas socks with balenciaga trainers so you could probably achieve that same look almost if you just bought the low top trainers and just wore the Adidas socks like that. But I guess you'd have to go up here and buy these $210 socks. So you might as well just go ahead and buy the sneakers at that point. Next, we have another piece that's just, I mean, like, dude, come on. Like, I made a video about this last week about designer collabs just being lazy. And this is just super lazy. This is another piece that looks like you could just get it at like TJ Maxx on sale or something. So yeah, I don't know, just another big miss for me with these pieces. I like, like I said, like it's not like the worst piece ever. It's not like offensive or anything, but yeah, it's just lazy and just uninspired and not unique. I don't know, I can't come up with any more rips on it really, but yeah, just not for me. And then next we've got these track pants and uh, I think the fit will be interesting to see on these. It looks like they're really, really wide. So I do think these are probably have like a pretty cool fit. And I do think these will go well with the soccer top. I think like, like I said earlier, Bellerin could get off some crazy fits with this uh, collection. But at the same time, I do think they look like something you could just get from uh, Adidas that is like a 10th of the price. So 
yeah uh that's been like kind of the theme for this collaboration is just uh it's like not like the pieces are bad or even like especially lazy like i felt like the jibanshi disney collab was really lazy and i thought the balenciaga fortnite collab was really really lazy and these like at least like some of the silhouettes are interesting um like the sweatshirt is definitely pretty interesting silhouette the denim jacket definitely is uh this puffy jacket is a cool silhouette but uh and these uh like long shorts so if you're familiar with soccer like you know that like long shorts are kind of like a thing not so much a thing in america i think this is definitely a bigger style in europe so i can't imagine too many people from the u.s buying these they're definitely an item i would not buy but i know like european people and especially like soccer fans will like these or at least i would imagine will like these so yeah that's pretty much it um just a rundown and like i said i'm not sure about these prices i do think they're pretty close to what is going to be retail if they're not exactly on and yeah if i had to pick three pieces from this i would say definitely this uh green hoodie uh definitely the soccer jersey and then i'm in between this puff jacket and this uh denim jacket i think i don't really love either one of those jackets because they don't have a hood but at the same time i would definitely wear both of them and yeah i thought the uh, sneakers were cool i thought it was just like literally the first thing you think of when you think Balenciaga did a collaboration with Adidas what did it look like it's like the quickest thing you could come up with so I thought that was just really funny and did enjoy seeing that but let me know what you guys think about this collection down below if you have the money to buy any pieces let me know what you're going to try and get and yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to this point if you could hit that like and subscribe I would really appreciate it and we will see you next week have a good one